Hi there, so I've created a um, pretty basic integration. It, there's a lot of things that need to be improved with uh, Eddie's Vehicle Physics. Um, this is the latest version of Eddie's Vehicle Physics on the Asset Store. And for Unity, I'm using 2018.3.1. Um, and I have the, um, <clears throat> the latest version of Opsiv, um the third person character controller. Um, so I don't have the first person and this is version uh, 2.0.7. Um, so basically uh, the steps that I've used so far is I created a new scene. I added this um, plane. I just made it uh, basically 10 by 10 and I used this room grid as the um, um, plane. I left it at uh, 0, 0, 0 position. Um, it already had a camera in the scene, so I just followed the the steps in this uh, setup wizard. So the first thing I did is I did the button mappings, I did the layers, I added the managers, I set up my camera, I added the UI. After I added the UI, I um, I drug in this uh, monitors from the uh, ops of prefab folder. Um, from there, I grabbed Nolan, who was in the um, character folder. Let's see. Um, I think it's under this uh, models characters. I put him in the scene, just left him at 000. zero, zero. I followed the character setup. So it added all the pieces. I just did added everything. Um, after that, I um, downloaded uh, Eddie's vehicle physics. Um, I dragged in this sports coupe car. Um, you can tell by the scale that it's a little off. So the scale of the cars seemed to be a little too small, but I just left it as is. I mean, I'm sure you could scale it up. So I just left it. Um, I pulled in the, the two scripts that I saved out on my website. Um, there'll be a link. Um, the vehicle manager script, you need to put this on every car that you have. So like if you had 50 vehicles in the scene, you would have this on each vehicle. Um, the drive ability is going to automatically show up in Nolan, uh, in your character. So basically, if you, um, once you have your character, you're going to hit this plus sign and it's going to show up. It's not showing up right now because I already have it. So you can see how all these abilities are there. So one of them will say Eddie drive ability. Um, I moved it all the way to the top and I changed this to button down. It was on automatic. I changed it to button toggle. Um, the input name I put as action um, because that should be um, basically there's one of these that say action right down here. So that's what it's going to use. Um, for us, I think it's the F key, but this way it'll, um, if you remap your um, settings, it'll still use action. And then the state, I'm calling this state drive. Um, that way it'll be easier for me in the future. Just call it drive. Um, I didn't change this ability index parameter. For object ID, I just put it at 701. You need to give it an object ID. Um, if you're already using 701, use something else. You can look at the manual on what this is all about. Um, I changed this detection layer to trigger. It was on character cast, so it did look like that, but I changed it to trigger and you have to turn character cast off. Um, I deselected these two positional, the inputs, because it'll mess up when you're driving. I changed the gravity defaults and I turned off these um, two weapon slots so 
if you have a weapon, it's going to um, unequip it. And then I just figured, go ahead and re-equip it when you get out. Um, the message, I just put press F to enter X in. I'm not sure what the uh, the hotkey is. I'm sure there's some little, like, maybe it's like bad or something. I just, I don't know what it is. So you can look it up to see where it'll automatically change this based on whatever the input is. Um, I did not add any state overrides to the character. Um, on the, if you look at this character IK, I did do an override. Um, basically, if you hit plus, you can create a new one. Um, so once it created a new one, I called it um, Eddie character, and I added the property, look at body weight, and I just made it zero. Um, and once you do that, you're going to want to name this the same as you named your state above. So for me, I called it drive. Um, so I, I renamed it. I, I named this to be drive. It'll, it'll say something else. Uh, and for the camera, I also added a state. So the same process. You just hit the plus and you create a new one. Once I created a new one, I added this can zoom property and I turned it off. Um, I figure you know, it doesn't need to zoom while you're driving. Uh, besides, I'm going to be, I turn this off in my um, script anyways. Uh, the other thing you need to add on your camera controller, um, because I couldn't figure out how to make the camera behave the way I wanted to, so um, for this, ver this first version that I'm putting out here, I just turn it off, and I'm using this um, vehicle camera controller. You just need to drag it on here and you don't really need to do anything else after that. Um, for the camera, I did assign this Nolan because I hate, uh, if you don't, it'll automatically assign it, but it'll um, give you a message every time you hit play. And I don't like, I don't like getting messages when I'm um, testing out games. Um, so from there, so you don't have to add anything else to the character um, except for this um, you need to make a new, or I took the, um, the demo animator that comes with mine, with the third person controller, and I, um, I followed the directions that are on, that talk about, um, how to do the crawl ability. So I followed that, um, except for me, I, I put this on the full body layer. I created a new, what is this thing called? I think it's a, no, that's not it. It's a, um, a substate machine. So you create a new substate machine. And then from there, um, I went from any state and this driving idle. So basically I just created a new um, state. And then I change the settings. I turn the foot IK off. And I'm just using this aim crouch. Um, it comes with it. It looked fine. So he's basically in kind of like a seating position. I'm not going to use the arms or the legs. So I'm overriding those. Um, so I'm just using that crouch idle. Um, so from any state, same thing as the crawl ability example. You use this ability index equals 701. And that brings you into it. I turned off exit time. And then to get out of it, um, ability index is not equal to 71, uh, 701. This is the same one that we used over here. So that's, that's that 701 right there. Um, and that's it for the animator. So I just saved it as a new, a new animator. So if there's updates or whatever, I, I still have it. Um, on the vehicle, so you add this vehicle manager, which is the, the script, um, Eddie vehicle manager script. It's got positions for the driver. I only did left hand, right hand, foot, uh, and the feet. There's all, there's additional ones. I'll, I'll show you what those are in a minute. Um, so for here, I created a, an empty child 
and I called it uh, interact location and this is the position that I put it on um, and I added a box collider I made it as trigger so you just go add component and you just uh, add a box collider um, you can see the size I set mine up one two and two um, I did the position minus 1.5 1 I left it at 0 and then you need to add this object identifier so this with this trigger on as soon as he walks into it it's going to trigger it but this object identifier script um, right here um, it's you want to tell it what um, ability uh, you're going to be activating. So there's that 701 again. So it's the same one as what we have right here, 701. Um, and you can see where I put it. It's So it's going to go everywhere the vehicle goes. Um, from here, I added a, a driver vehicle position. Um, this draw gizmo, I just it makes it easier for me to see so you can see the script right here it's a super basic script i think i found it on unity help or somewhere i can't remember um, i'm not putting this out there but you can just view the screen and uh, create your own um, so for the position i did another um, i did an empty child of i think it was this one and so I made it a child of the interact location. And these are the settings that I use for this car. So it's um, 1.075 minus 1.7, 0 0.1. I gave it a little bit of a rotation um, because on the animation he's leaning forward a little bit. So I've got him leaning a little better. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Um, on the feet, so here I'll show you the... Uh, gizmos so this is why I did the gizmos so you can see I've got the red color that way I can see it better um, so the feet um, I put them at uh, 0 0.85 minus 0.7 and 0 0.85 and the right foot it's just over to the right but it's in the same it's basically lined up in the same height um, so from here you have to add this ability IK Right here and when you add this it's going to ask you what your goal what the, um, the IK goal this is like an IK goal it's a unity thing um, so this is what offset included um, and you can see you've got I'm using left hand right hand left foot and right foot I'm not using these elbows so you could obviously extend this um, ability script to use the elbows, and I'm not using the knees. Um, I don't I don't know what this last is, so um, I haven't assigned this one. So I'm just using left hand, right hand, left foot, right foot. So for this one, because this is my left foot, I called it. Uh, I'm using the left foot goal. Here's the right foot. It's the right foot goal. And over here, I assign those. Oops. So there's my left foot position. There's my right foot position. And here's my drive position. Um, for the hands, this has a um, the steering wheel actually moves. So I put these. Um, I put empty child children onto here. I added the gizmo so I could see it. Uh, these gizmos do not show up in the game when you're actually playing. Um, so I added these and I put, uh, that's left hand, that's right hand. And I also changed the rotation. So you can see right here I've got 90. Um, the hands were pointing weird. So you're able to change your rotations as well. And over here I've got negative 90 on that one. And I assigned these. And that's the setup. That's it. Oh, uh, the other thing I did. This collider, I turned off this top one because in case later I wanted someone to shoot in through the window or something, um, the collider wouldn't get in the way. And that there's probably another way to do this, but I just kept this simple for now. So if I hit play, 
Um, you walk up to it, you got your message, you can see how small the car is. It's really small. He's in the car. You see his arms move. And you can change your different views, like regular. And then you can hop out of the car. Um, and I made it so that when you get out of the car, the rotation isn't messed up because otherwise uh, he would be leaning backwards. And so I put it back to, um, I reset the rotation and everything. Um, I think it'll always face forward. Yeah, it'll always face forward. So this rotation when he gets out is based on this interact position so you can see how there's no rotation going on so he's going to face that way when he hops out um, that's it and like I said if you wanted to add more targets um, you could on the vehicle manager you can see the vehicle manager is really basic um, basically I'm just you know assigning all these on start um, if you wanted to add more you would need to add more IK targets here. So for the knee and the elbow and stuff like that. And then you would also need to um, over here on the on the getting in ability, uh, you would need to change you would need to grab the other targets. Um, and you can see how I'm doing it here. So anyone should be able to take this and extend it or just use it as is. Um, and that is pretty much it. I, I didn't plan on going through how I created this, um, but I did try to add added these regions so you could um, kind of see what I'm doing. You can expand these and look at them. I tried to add comments. Um, yeah, I added comments here. And I also added comments on the ability stop. So um, I plan to put um, an, some more abilities out, um, probably for other vehicle packages. Uh, enjoy. Thank you.